WSL is a compatibility layer in Windows that allows run a Linux tools and utilities on your Windows machine directly, providing seamless integration between the Windows and Linux environments. It enables developers and users to leverage the power of both operating systems simultaneously without the need for dual booting or virtual machines. Virtual machines provide isolated environments with complete operating system instances. They typically require more resources and have slower boot times compared to WSL, which offers native Linux command line tools directly within Windows, with lower resource overhead and faster boot times. We begin with the installation of WSL. To do this, we need to use a command line with administrator permissions. To enable the Windows subsystem for Linux and install Ubuntu, which is the default distribution, just run the following command. I will include all commands in the description of this video. I kindly request you to like the video and subscribe to support me. We can list other available distributions that can be installed. To install a distribution appearing in the list, we need to use this command and specify the distribution's name. In our case, we will install Kali Linux. We replace it with the desired distribution name. We will now create the root user and password. As you can see, the distribution is now installed, and we will try out a few commands. Let's now proceed with installing Docker on the Ubuntu 22.04. And we can run two or more distributions simultaneously without any problem. We install Ubuntu 22.04. We will now create the root user and password. We now access super user mode, update the system, and then install Docker. As you can see, Ubuntu is installed properly, and both distributions are installed and can run simultaneously. Docker is installed correctly. Now, let's verify by running the Hello World image. The second method to install WSL is from the Microsoft Store. We need enable the Windows subsystem for Linux from Windows features. and restart the computer. Now, let's launch Microsoft Store and search for the desired Linux distribution, and click on Get to begin the installation. And to uninstall the distribution, it's very simple, just click on Uninstall. And to uninstall WSL, you need to search for installed apps and uninstall it from there. If you find this video helpful, I kindly request you to like the video and subscribe to support me in making more videos like this.